Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I am going to be doing a full face using Essence Cosmetics. Now Essence has always been one of the cheapest brands really available here in Australia I would say and because they're so cheap they can get a little bit of a bad rep but I think Essence has so many good products and I am here today to show you a lot of them. Some of these I have used before, some of them are new to me. I am very excited so let's go. To start I've got the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation and this is in the shade 050 Neutral Champagne. Now this range is actually really big, there's like 30 shades but classic Australia, we don't get them all. So this is the lightest one and I'm just going to swatch it on my face so you can see the shade. It's not very light. See, there we go. Now, if you haven't tried this foundation, you need to. It's only $10 and it is beautiful. The coverage is amazing and it leaves such a beautiful finish. Oh, I did do a full review on it. I'll link it down below if you want to watch more. But just look at that. It sits so nice on the skin. It doesn't cling to any dry patches. It looks hydrating. Mm, I love it. And it's really long lasting. <laughs> it's just not something I feel like you would expect from Essence. But it just went above and beyond for me. I do buy my Essence products from Priceline, but I think Target also carries a bit of a range. I'm not sure if it's all the products, but they do have some. Next, I want to go in with a concealer, and when I was at Priceline yesterday, I saw the concealer that they have, which is like the matte coverage something or other. Comes in a pretty light shade. Um, I didn't buy it because I thought I had it. Turns out, I don't have it. But I've definitely tried it before, and from memory, I think it's okay. I wouldn't go out and purchase it again, but it's okay. So instead, I'm just quickly going to go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind. For powder, I have the Mattifying Compact Powder, and this is in the shade 11 Pastel Beige. I haven't actually used this one before. This is something new I picked up. It says it's an extremely smooth powder for a matte and flawless finish. This is what the shade looks like. Pretty fair, which I'm quite surprised about. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly tap this under the eyes. Oh. Okay, I thought it was a little bit too dark then, but it seems all right. Definitely smoothing things out. I feel like that under eye looks quite nice. And then going to take a bigger fluffy brush and lightly dust that all over the rest of my face because all the other products that I'm using today are powders. I'm going to do my brows next and going in with the Make Me Brow Gel Mascara. Now I feel like this is an absolute classic essence product and it's one that I have loved for a really long time now. So this is in the shade 01 Blondie Brows and it comes with a really tiny wand which is what I love about it. It also has fibers that cling to your brow hairs and makes them look a lot more full. It's not the kind of brow gel that's going to really slick down your brows like a soap brow product that we're used to seeing now but it definitely adds some texture to the brow and makes them look more full. The next eyebrow product I feel like has been in the Essence range forever and this like screams to me cheap Essence product. The packaging and then the way that the, um, the product comes out just like in this plastic sleeve, classic. But what I like about this is that you've got the two different shades of powder, a lighter one and a deeper one and they're very cool toned. So this is 02 Natural Blonde Style. I'm going to start with the lighter powder and just fill in the front of the brow and then go in and add to the arch and the tail. My brows are tinted at the moment, which is why they've got a little more color to them than usual. Essence actually has quite a big range of brow products, so definitely lots of options depending on what you prefer to use. The next product though, if you've been watching my channel, would know it is absolutely one of my favorites from Essence and probably just from the drugstore, and it is the Tiny Tip Precise Brow Pen. If you're going to buy one thing from Essence, 
make it this. Oh my God, it's only $5. And this is the best brow pen that I've tried. I do have one gripe with it, but I'll get to that in a moment. This is what the tip looks like. It's a felt tip. It's very thin and precise. And the strokes that it draws are just beautiful. And if you have sparse hairs, sparse brows, sparse brow hairs, this just makes them look so much more full and natural. Like I find that powder can look a little bit like drawn on. You can see the gaps where there's no hair and this pen just gets right in there and fills them out. So I have the shade zero to medium brown. There's also zero three dark brown. In Australia, we don't have the lightest shade. So I can make this work. I can't go in too heavy handed though because it can go overboard very quickly. But if we had the lightest shade here, it would be 110% a perfect product. So I'm going to start at the front and just draw a few little upward strokes. Oh my God, look how thin that is. Oh. Like see these thin little strokes that I've drawn in the tail? I just, I've tried a brow pen from Rimmel. It's too thick. I've tried one from Revolution. The color completely changed. Um, the Emco Beauty one I really like, but I don't get as thin strokes as this. Or the Urban Decay one I really like, but it's not a drugstore option. So I have tried a few, and this is hands down the best one. All right, I'm going to add some color back to the face. Now, this is the Contouring Duo Palette in the shade 10 Lighter Skin. And this is also in like my top products from Essence. If you have fair skin, this is the perfect duo for contouring. As you can see, this shade is more on the cool tone, which is what you need to contour because it sculpts the face. And this is just the perfect shade. This one here does look like too light, like what's that gonna do? But it does add a bit of color. And if you're new to bronzing and quite scared of going in, this is a good place to start because it is so light. They do also have the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, and this is in the shade Lighter Skin as well. Now, when I first tried this, it was a little bit hard to get color to come off. It's like it had a hard layer over it or something. It is a little bit orange, like it pulls slightly on the orange side, but I just wanna show you the color, like the shade comparison from a contour and a bronzer. See how much more warmth this has? So anyway, I'm going to go in with a mix of all of these and just show you what happens. So I like to go in with an angled brush and a bit of this deeper shade, a little bit of the lighter shade and right underneath the cheekbone there, just lightly go back and forth to blend. Even already, look at the difference from this side to this side. Flat, boring, chiseled. The formula is beautiful as well. It blends so easily. As you just saw, it's not patchy or dry at all. It just blows me away that such an affordable product can perform this good. I like to go in with just the light powder around my hairline, just to add a little bit of color back up there. Now I'm going to go in with the bronzer, just using the same brush and I'm going to apply that just slightly higher than the contour. I feel like the bronzer doesn't give as much color payoff as the contouring formula, but it still blends out very nicely and doesn't look patchy at all. For blush, I'll be using the blush, and this is in the shade 60 Beaming. This is a nice, kind of like muted pink shade, and it's a matte formula. These blushes just perform. Like they just do what they're meant to do. Again, the formula is very smooth. It doesn't feel powdery or chalky at all. And it blends out very easily. I really like this shade as well. I think it looks nice on fair skin. It's not too bright of a pink, but it definitely adds enough color. I like to go in with just little layers at a time to build it up and give a nice natural looking flush to the cheeks. Now for highlighter, they do have a highlighter. 
but I believe I've tried it in the past and I wasn't a big fan. It was a bit chalky and it didn't last very long on the skin. So for years now, if I want to go in with a highlighter from Essence, I've been using these single eyeshadows and they're called my must-haves. And this one is in the shade Apricotta. When I was in Priceline the other day, I couldn't see these anymore. So I'm not sure if they still have them, but if they do, you need to pick them up. They're only a few dollars and they are such a beautiful, creamy, metallic finish. It is an eyeshadow. I don't know if I just said that, but it makes a beautiful highlighter. So I'm just going in with a nice big fluffy brush. And it doesn't give that that dusty kind of highlight look that some cheap highlighters can give. I really hate that. All right, I just put some concealer on my eyelids as primer and I am really excited for the next product. I haven't tried these eyeshadows yet. I don't know if I've ever tried like an eyeshadow palette from Essence before, but these ones are brand new. I've got the bronzed this way and the dancing green eyeshadow palettes. Oh my God, these shades are all just so pretty. So here's a close up of the bronzed this way. And what sold me in this dancing green palette, oh my God, look at that shade. Oh, oh my God, these feel so smooth. Okay, this is like very random swatching, but look at those shimmers. Look how metallic they are. One swipe, same with the mattes. So smooth and creamy. I'll swatch the other palette so you can see. This next shade just has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not a full metallic. All right, this is the shade that I was frothing over. That is beautiful. I know these are like the most annoying swatches ever, but. <laughs> as if that's an essence eyeshadow. I think I might dip into both palettes. So to start, I'm going to use this brown shade here. I like that they have little mirrors as well. Oh, yes. Look how pigmented that is, as if. Next, I'm going to take a bigger, fluffier brush with the light matte shade just to blend out those edges. There is quite a bit of kickback. So like when I dip my brush in, see how powder goes everywhere? I don't usually notice this about eyeshadows, but these smell really nice. Next, I'm going to take this medium brown shimmer and put that on the center to outer corner. And then I think I might go in with this pretty kind of greeny gold shimmer for the inner corner. Oh my God. These are so metallic. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh my God, this shade is amazing. After I've done my shimmers, I always like to go back in with a little bit more of the matte that I put in the outer corner and just blend the shimmer and the matte together, build that color back up. I'm going to take that same matte brown and just blow it out on the lower lash line. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this eye and then I'll be right back with a range of mascaras. <sighs> okay, so my camera just did me dirty and the battery bit popped open. So it deleted the last clip where I was carrying on about all the different Essence mascaras that I have. Ah! To rephrase, I went in with this new mascara and it's the Double Trouble. It has a very interesting wand on it with kind of like two different bristle types. So I went in at first with the bottom, the bottom of the wand and then I flipped it to the other side and look at these lashes. So long, so voluminous. Oh my God, they look great. They look great. I really like this mascara. Now, I did ask the question what your favorite Essence mascara is because there are so many in the range and they all work pretty good. The one I love the most though is this 24 Ever Defined Volume. So let me know your favorite Essence mascara below. Okay, for the lips, I've got the new Cool Collagen Plumping Lipsticks. 
Now these are a satin finish and they also come with a matching lip liner. So here we have My Way and this one here is My Advice. Now I don't think either of these shades are going to go that well with this eye look. So I'm going to go in with another Essence lipstick. This is from the This Is Me range and it's in the shade 03 Bold. This one is a matte formula. Oh, actually it's quite similar to that, isn't it? It's just a matte as opposed to satin. Okay, look, let's go in with the collagen one because now that I swatched them, they're pretty similar. I thought that the matte one was going to be like a bit more nude. Okay, that feels really beautiful. It's quite opaque for a satin lipstick and it's so creamy. All right, well, this is the finished look using all Essence products. Out of the new ones I tried today, I think my favorite would have to be the mascara and the eyeshadow palettes. I cannot believe how well those eyeshadow palettes performed. My absolute favorite products from the brand are the foundation, the brow pen, and the contouring palette. They are like hands down just amazing products. I don't think that Essence is a brand to be sleeping on. They have fantastic affordable options and I would love to know what yours is down below in the comments. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching today and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. You can also come and follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. I'll have them both linked down in the description box below and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.